So you're playing Persona 5 Royal on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or the Xbox, and you're wondering how to increase them social stats. Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you increase the proficiency social stat and tell you on the different things you can do to max it out. What's going on? I'm Dom from The Game Looters, and I have a bunch of videos that are going to help you max out all your social stats. So check out the cards or the videos at the end. Without further ado, let's get into what you can do to increase proficiency. The first thing that you're going to be able to do is something that becomes available very early on by Morgana, and that is crafting infiltration tools. The moment that crafting infiltration tools become available, make sure that you do it. Not only is this super useful for exploring your palaces or mementos to get those nasty, nasty little lockpicks because you're going to need a lot of them, but this is also going to increase your proficiency a bit. So as soon as it becomes available, make sure you spend some little bit of extra time upgrading your infiltration tools. The second available way that is also available really early is by heading to the batting cage in Yongin Jaya. When you head to the batting cage, it's a really great way to pass time. And it's actually pretty fun to see how many home runs you can hit personally. But by doing so, it's also going to increase your proficiency. And you're also going to be able to get some rewards by doing so. So why not have a good time? The third way to increase proficiency is also available very early on. And that is working at the beef bowl shop. One of the confidants that you're going to need to get in your rotation also needs you to work at the beef bowl shop. So you can basically do two birds, one stone here. So make sure that you head to the underground area, head to the job postings, and go ahead and get hired at the beef bowl shop. If you get all the orders correct, you'll also earn some additional proficiency points. So make sure that you go ahead and become a regular part-time employee there. Also, bonus tip, this becomes available a little later on, depending on where you are in your playthrough, but you can also get a job at the Crossroads Bar. Now, at the Crossroads Bar, you can also earn proficiency, although, albeit with a little less regularity. That's the only thing to really note here. The fourth way that you can increase proficiency is also available pretty early on, and that is reading some books. So there's going to be a couple of books that'll help you increase proficiency. And if you're ever wondering specifically how to know, the books will tell you what they do. But the two books that you can read to increase proficiency is The Tidying Heart and The Woman in the Dark. You can go ahead and read these at home or you can read them on the train. So if you have them, go ahead and take a read. The next way is also available pretty early on, and that's going to be watching DVDs or watching TV and playing some video games. Now, you will need to go ahead and buy the retro game console from the old man in Yongin Jaya, but once you can, go ahead and buy it. The DVDs that you can watch to increase proficiency is the Guy MacGyver, and you can play the golf video games. Both of these are going to increase your proficiency. So make sure that when you can get them or watch them or play them that you do that. The next way to increase proficiency is fishing. Fishing is going to be available and it's actually a really fun thing to do. They're going to give you a small crumb or I should say they'll give you a small catch of proficiency. So the better you get at fishing, the more proficiency you will earn. So do it often as you can. The next way that you can increase proficiency is by heading to your local theater. Now, there's only two movies that will increase your proficiency, and it's important to know when they become available because only certain movies show during certain months. The two movies that you can watch are Admission Possible in October and March of the Sheeple in January. So make sure that you take note in October or January to head to the movies to watch these two. The next way that you can increase your proficiency is by repairing the broken laptop. You're going to be able to get the broken laptop in September from the old man in Yongin Jaya. So make sure that once it becomes available that you go ahead and buy it and take it back home. At your repairing section, you're going to be able to repair the laptop and this is also going to unlock your proficiency. So go ahead and do this ASAP once that becomes available after September 1st. The last way that you can increase proficiency is by hanging out with EYE. Now EYE is 
the Hanged Man Confidant, and he is going to be able to increase your proficiency by giving you some boost every now and then. So make sure that you are hanging out with EYE frequently as well as his young boy. This will increase your proficiency. Alright my friends, I hope this video helped you out with knowing some of the ways that you can increase proficiency in Persona 5 Royal. If it did, hit us with the like and subscribe. And check out the other videos on screen now to help you max out the other social stats. We'll see you on the next one.